Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 16 by 20 inch pre-primed black canvas that's matte and something that cuts pies and serves them and my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula and one of my little tools that if, you, if I don't include, if I don't remember to include the link to the video making those under, underneath the video, let me know. So I'm just going to be starting with what I contemplate as a potential sky area. And where is the other blue? There it is. Even if I don't do anything more than stage one this, that's okay with me. I want something kind of surreal anyway. And it's looking pretty surreal already. <laughs> and I like that. I often just keep spreading paint until I get something that's more uniform and I don't want to do that right now. But I do need some more paint across the top edge of my canvas and instead of putting it on the canvas and pulling it down I'm going to put it on the blade of my spatula. Take the break away. Move the canvas over try and move the canvas over without dumping it. Just smooth that right over the edge. Wipe off the excess on the top edge. Smooth anything that needs to be smoothed. I don't expect miracles. It's really, really always super hard when you're doing scapes to get all of the canvas to not show to remove the, all the canvas that shows. So that's layer one at the top. And what I'm thinking of that was Venetian blue and some white Anita's metallic <coughs> with some blue in it and some Venetian blue. I, I think I said that wrong. Anyway, so no matter what I do at this point, I am looking to get rid of the look of canvas. It's been a pretty good day for the phone. It hasn't hardly rung, which is amazing because yesterday it never stopped. Now what I want to do, what I really want to do, what I really, really want to do is put some white cell activator on something and go into that sky but I don't actually need to do it right now. And I'm not done playing yet. And I can definitely use my leftovers along the top edge and it won't hurt a darn thing. And anything dripping down, I can take off and put on the other side. And I am likely to do that. It's hard going. I go one direction well and the other direction not so much. One more swipe across. I wish there were a better way to meld that in. Breath doesn't really work as well as I'd like it to. Now this is my last 16 by 20 inch canvas or I probably would have used a white one. I have more Venetian blue and Prussian blue. Yes, right there. Which seems like a lot of excess blue, but I also have a really nice... I wish I could tell you what this was. I'm sure it's a lot of Anita's... Excuse me, a lot of iridescent gold fine from Golden. With a little bit of purple in it. But I thought it wasn't metallic and I just discovered it is. <laughs> now I want to use it on everything. Now that may look a little more like mountains than anything else. And if I want some other bright colors like oranges in here, I would have to do that tomorrow, I'm thinking. I am contemplating moving any and all of that down to give myself something of a background. Looks a lot like the ocean right now.
this isn't going to amount to anything except for a background, but sometimes they look pretty cool along the way. I should even show that to you. This is pretty nice right now. I will show it to you. What is that thing? I do not know what that thing is. Okay, so my plan starts with knocking off any excess paint I've got on the bottom edge and then using the dampness that's still there to meld it into the canvas. And I like the fact that the canvas is black because that helps camouflage everything and anything. Unfortunately, I let enough drips go over the side so I can cover everything I need to cover right now. Now, hopefully I can follow through with the plan. I'm going to get rid of that spatula into the bucket and I am going to use the colors, these colors that just came out of my last painting, plus some of this sunset color. were those that was the that was a modern masters sunset coppery color that I'm not sure of the name of but if you need it let me know that is an artist loft amethyst this is an artist loft cobalt blue which is very turquoise I'm going to put a bunch of gold in there I'm going to use my tweezers if I can find them really quickly to get that thing that I see that is probably a paint chip. I'll just use my finger and I'm going for it. I'm going to put more of the colors I have in my sky in there. I just need more color in general. That's the Prussian blue, which might be really cool. This is my Decor Americana 24 karat gold with orange in it, which is similar to the Decoord Americana 24 karat gold, but quite different than that Modern Masters. What else? Maybe a little bit. Boy, that is so not looking shaken today. I'm sure it'll be fine, but it's not looking shaken. So let's go ahead and start with the black Australian Floatrol, which I don't think is so different for me than the American Floatrol with pre-stained wood conditioner in it. I'd like to have a somewhat copious amount of it. And continue on my merry way until I get some kind of coverage. doesn't have to be anything, like I said, except for surreal. And I do want to use some white, and I'm not worried about what comes. I am inclined to freely dip. You know what? I'm going to use this other paint. And realize that I have some other color in here that I did not use which I can add now, which is the turquoise color shift from Folk Art. This can go in the bucket. And there's the turquoise. I think I'm going to go for and pull in some real copper that's a little darker. I didn't put any green in there at all, and I think I want some. I have some Arteza that I added, um, Arteza Thalo, Thalo Green, and I added Iridescent Pearl Fine from Golden in there. Now I kind of want very much to use the other alternative. Throw that in the bucket. I can always wipe it off. And the white. Boy, do I really? Yeah, I do. 
kind of dissipates anyway because it's a lot more flow troll than it is paint. So if you're lucky, And I hope I am. That wasn't lucky. That's okay. I'll blow that around and it'll be all right. Maybe it should be a treat. I kind of want some of the paint to come up here. And create some more surreal. Yeah, I like all that. So it's a blooming scape. <laughs> Let some go over the edges, which it already has, which is very convenient right now. That's beautiful. I'm good with that. I really wanted to do something in the sky as well. And I, I let's see what time we have. I still have plenty of time to do that. But right now, while the paint is dripping down over my bottom, I kind of want to use fingerfuls of it to camouflage. Even though I already gave a slight layer, if I just dab paint in there right now, it's going to work. Let me show you this before I do anything with my sky. That's sweet. I don't know if, it's, if it represents land or sea, but I don't care. I think it sort of reminds me of um, an ocean wave at the shore approaching the rocks or a swell moving by and I'm liking all the weirdness and just perfect. The colors are great. If I want to do the sky, now is the time. I want to make sure I have no bubbles. That's why I torched release the bubbles got in the paint. I want to make sure you guys know my email address is available to you. It's directly under show more right under the first blue link under the video, which is the link tree with all my other links on it. So now is the time for me to contemplate if I want to go in there with the sky. And I think for me to do that, I'm going to want... some clouds. This is really daring of me. I'm, I can't believe how brave I'm being. Trying to change things up a little bit. It might not have been my best idea using white as a base, but I kind of figured I would use enough pinks on top. Somebody looked at one of my recent scapes and said, I love those pink whales in the sky. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Whatever you see is okay with me. That's really dark. That's the, um, that's an Arteza magenta pearl. I kind of want some contrast up there, and I'm not sure what it should be, but I'm thinking that I'm really interested in taking chances right now. And that is the Sergeant's Yellow with a little bit of orange unicorn spit in it. Let's put some dioxazine purple down at the bottom. And I'm inclined to think I'll probably pick up. All right, I'm gonna put these two tools into the bucket so they don't harden. And I'm gonna give myself some of the Amsterdam white with Australian flow trawl. Start right in the middle. Trying to wipe that off. So 
we can come back and get some more. There isn't enough paint a lot of times you'll have an issue with digging down to canvas with these little tools these little tools if you ask me for the link I've got it handy for you and I'm ready uh, otherwise when I do remember that I used them in a video I will often add the link under the video so you it's worth looking under there No, I'm liking those clouds a lot. So that's that. That's kind of different. And I think I could probably camouflage some of the areas that I think of as canvassy pretty easily. But I have to be careful of that, that canvas showing. No, I like that. The edge of these tools is a great tool. So that is what it is, and I am Priscilla Batzel, and this is Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Please give me a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate that. This was a fast, blooming scape. I'm not sure if it's a landscape or a seascape. I'm not sure if it should have any trees. I am sure I'd love to have your thumbs up, and uh, if you share my videos, you might help save my channel. If you watch them longer, you definitely will be of assistance. If you watch them when the no notifications comes out, that's something the YouTube algorithm really likes. I am posting at different times than I used to, especially for night owls right now, because I cannot compete with the regular times that people are watching fluid art. So I'm doing my own thing. If you ever need anything, please ask me questions. I'm happy to answer you in the comments or even if you send me an email. Inquiries after purchasing an artwork are directed toward the email. Address right under the video. Loving that cloud. That's, that's a spectacular cloud. I do have one little issue right here and I got one minute Oh, I probably got more than one minute left. What did I see? I saw that blue. I need a different tool. More like a dolphin back there. Now it's a mountain. Cool. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Check my link tree for Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook links. Uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is a student group and it takes up to a week for Facebook to allow me to see that you want to get in and then let me let you in. So I'm please pardon me for the frustration. It's frustrating on both of our sides, believe me. Uh, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Pinterest is where I sh share my videos a lot of times and all the merchandise that comes from pixels.com and Fine Art America. Uh, Instagram is where I post my stuff daily. I do have an Amazon link, it's on the link tree, and two books are there because I can, and unlimited possibilities. If you have questions, I told you if you had questions to ask me, uh, my community board will share with you tomorrow's video. I have over 2,100 videos organized by the 100, topic and genre. Thank you guys for all the donations that help keep me painting, and if you'd like to be a contributor to help keep the studio alive, PayPal and Patreon icons are in the bottom right-hand corner of my YouTube channel banner, and a donation through them will get you into the monthly drawing, and you can see the prizes included at the beginning of the exhibition video I put on the end screen of every video at the in the last 20 seconds of the video. I do sell my art. I do give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. My email address is below the link tree, the first blue link under the video. I may be being repetitive. Um, my Legalaris clothing is made in Montreal. It's the top link on the link tree, and it's worth a look. It's investment quality clothing, and I would love for you to check it out. Uh, if you ever want to have anything added to Teespring, excuse me, spring clothing underneath the video has all over print leggings and all over 